Hi friends, welcome to OFA Studies YouTube channel. This is part 28 in Azure Data Factory real-time scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to perform time zone conversion in mapping data flows inside Azure Data Factory. So we are going to practically see how we can perform this time zone conversion for our timestamp values using mapping data flows. So let me go to ADF Studio. So this is my Azure Data Factory Studio. Let me go to Author menu. So let's try to create a new data flow here. Let me try to add a source here. So I have one source file already. So this is my data lake storage Gen2 account, which has Synapse demo container. And inside this, I have employees.csv file. So if I open this employees.csv file, and if you see, there is a column called last login UTC. So all this date time values are stored in UTC basically. So maybe what I want to do, I want to convert all these date time values into EST, EST values. So for example, this is 21st February 2020, 23 hours, 30 minutes, right? So when it comes to EST, it should be minus four hours, right? Because if you know the difference between UTC and ETC, EST are four hours. So there should be minus four hours. You can see the example, Eastern time is four hours behind actually. UTC time is four hours ahead. Okay. So universal time is four hours ahead. So let's see how to implement this in the mapping data flows. So here, let me add a new data set here. It is a data like storage gen two type continue CSV format continue. And I am going to name it like maybe employee file like that. And then I have already created a linker service for my ADLS gen two account. Let me browse the storage and let me select my file as a source here. So let's wait for the window. So this is Synapse demo container and there is a folder called data and inside that data folder, I have a file called employees.csv. So I have selected that file. Let me click OK. So this so this way I created a new data set and that new data set I added as a source into my source. So let me name it like employee source name as employee and let me go to data preview and let me refresh and make sure whether I am getting all data from this source file into my data flow or not first. So data preview is the option to do that, right? So if you want to do a data preview in the data flows, you need to enable this data flow debug option. I hope you guys know that. And also I will strongly encourage you, please watch my all ADF playlist videos so that you know everything. What is source transformation? What is data preview? What are other types of transformations, everything. And if you see here, this last login, uh, okay. If you closely observe, my my employee file uh, headers also came as a row here. So why that is happening here? Let me go to let me open this data set once again. I, I forgot to select first row as a header here. Okay, so let me scroll on. I need to select this first row as a header, and then uh, so this is let me name it like employee source. And now if I do the data preview, I should see all these uh, row headers. All, all this entire row as headers. Okay, so right now headers are column one, column two, column three, right? Why? Because I missed to select first row as a header. So now let me refresh this data preview here. Great, we got our data here. So now, so so as per my source, uh, uh, my client said all these values are UTC. Okay, and now what I want is according to my requirement, we have to convert these values into EST and then we have to load the data into some sync table or some sync file, whatever maybe it is. So to do that, you can add a derived column transformation here. Okay, I'm adding a derived column transformation and using derived column transformation, uh, let me try to add a new column called last login in EST. So I given a column name as last login EST. Then let me open expression builder here. And here I should write a expression and whatever the expression I write, that expression will value go into uh, this column. Okay. So what I am going to do, if you closely see, uh, let me go to source, this last login UTC time, right? So this column is actually come, came as a string. So usually whenever you try to read data from CSV file, the data type will come as a string only first. So first uh, what I need to do, we need to convert that uh, into two to timestamp actually we need to convert that into timestamp format so to convert that there is a function called to timestamp function so we should use this function to convert that string values into timestamp format so and also if you see for this to timestamp function you need to provide the value which is in a string and then you need to provide the format of that value also so for example uh, if you see our data so for let me take this as an example first so let me and paste this value here. So let's assume this is the value you are passing into to timestamp function. Then immediately you should also sub, uh, tell to the system or tell to the function in which format this date is. So for example, if you see this is year, month, date, 
then hours minutes and seconds so i need to define the same thing the format here so it is year means small wise then capital m month then date space then hours then minutes then seconds so this is the format in which we have our data the the moment you apply uh, this two time function on top of this particular value then the value will return in the date time format actually time stamp format actually okay you can observe that same thing so let me click this save and finish here see we applied this we converted this hard coded value into two time stamp right now if i go to inspect you see this column data type came as a time stamp okay so let me go back to my derived column settings and let me open the expression builder so using this function we are able to convert this data into time stamp now uh, if you as i said before uh, utc time is 4 hours ahead than eastern time so if you want to get a eastern time from this utc time what do you need to do you need to subtract 4 hours right so to do that in the data flows there is something called hours function so if you see there is something called hours function for this hours function you you can supply the number of hours okay so so what i will do here i will use minus symbol to subtract and i will use this hours function and in the hours function i will pass 4 hours because this value is utc as per my source and i i should subtract it with 4 hours to get est time now let me click this save and finish and let me go to data preview and let me refresh this and see here but if you see here right now i am passing a hard coded value here so in all the rows you will be seeing the same value for this newly column okay but that is fine we are just trying to see whether this function works or not and then we are going to change this hard coded value into our pst column okay so for example right now it is 21st february uh, 23 hours 30 minutes right so minus 4 hours it will come so if i go here if you see what i what we get 21st february uh, on 23 minus 4 hours means 1930 so this is the est value for this uh, utpst so for sorry for this utc value this is the est value corresponding est value okay so like that we should do so since we we passed this hard coded value in the in the expression so all the columns all the rows get the same value so what we should do open this expression builder once again and here let me remove this hard coded value and let's pass our utc timing column here okay so the moment you pass whatever the value you will get for this column that value you will get convert into time stamp first and then you will be doing minus 4 hours so that you can get the est so let me click this save and finish let me go to data preview and let me hit this refresh button once again to make sure we are getting our uh, details properly or not great we got our output if you closely see now so minus 4 hours given 1930 then here minus 4 hours given 11 and here if you see here minus 4 hours given 330 so everything is came uh, as we wished right so it is doing minus 4 hours properly and it is converting so whatever the value it converted it is actually est timing right because my source is utc as per my client or as per my requirement and now we did minus 4 hours so this is est value equivalent so now what you can do maybe if you don't want to load this column or you want to load all other columns then you can use a select transformation and remove that uh, utc column and keep est column so use select transformation and here we want employee id employee name salary department but we don't want utc we can delete that we want est and then finally maybe we want to load this into some sync maybe into some file let's assume in that case so maybe you will add a sync transformation here and then you will select a data set uh, so i have a data set called D ds output which is going to point to a output folder so maybe i want to load this data into this output folder and what i will do i, I will go to the settings and i will say i want to save this as a single file uh, and then i need to click this set single partition and i can give like i want the file to be saved as employee.csv file and then in the mappings you can do auto mapping or you can disable the auto mapping and you can make sure if you want to give some other column names in in your sync you can do that or you can use your table as a sync here and do your mapping accordingly so whatever it is so like this you will actually perform the uh, time zone conversions using this derived column transformation and using this uh, two time stamp function and hours function okay so i hope you enjoyed this video so this is uh, i seen most of the people uh, in real time scenarios uh, they will they will come across this kind of requirement so i thought of let's do a small video on this hope you like this video thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you